Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to write off an account when we use the allowance method. For our example, at the end of year one we determined that 5% of revenue earned would be uncollectible. So we put $35 in a contra asset account called allowance for doubtful accounts. So as you see here, we have three receivables. Our customers Smith, Jones, and Morgan owe us money for a total receivable, accounts receivable, of $250. The way this looks on the balance sheet is accounts receivable less the allowance for doubtful accounts. Remember that contra assets go against the value of the assets, so you subtract that out to find the net realizable value, that means the amount of cash that you expect to realize or collect from those receivables. Now let's say that this year on February 1st, year two, we get a notification that Mr. Smith is unable to pay his bill. We need to write this account off. And so we know that to write off Mr. Smith's account, that means we need to zero out his account. So we need to credit accounts receivable Smith for $25. Now normally when you, re when you collect a receivable, you would debit cash because your customer normally pays you cash and so you would debit cash and credit receivable, but that is not what happened here. What happened here is that this account has become uncollectible and we need to write it off our books. That's why we created this allowance account is it was a bucket account which represents accounts that might be uncollectible. So we will debit this allowance account $25. So our journal entry would look like this. We would debit allowance for doubtful accounts for $25 and we would credit accounts receivable Smith for $25 to write that account off. So what's going to happen now is our total accounts receivable on the balance sheet is $225. Our allowance account now has a balance of $10 and our net realizable value of accounts receivable is $215. So that gives you a balance sheet view of what just happened. Noticed on our T accounts that the accounts receivable account is now zeroed out for Mr. Smith. So if my accounts receivable clerk looks at this account, he or she will know that Mr. Smith does not owe me money because it has been written off. Now, in the case of Mr. Smith eventually paying this bill, what I would have to do is I would have to reinstate this account. That means I would have to reverse this entry, I would just flip it, reverse this entry, then I would record the collection as if the write-off never happened. Hope this helps you understand writing off an account using the allowance method.